Rajnis, also known as Acharya Rajnis and later as Oso, was an Indian spiritual leader, mystic and founder of Rajnis movement. His birth name was Chandra Mohan Jain. He was born on 11th December 1931 in a small village of Madhya Pradesh state in India to parents Babulal and Saraswati Jain. Rajnis was the eldest of 11 children born. Rajnis lived with his maternal grandparents until he was 8 years old. When he was 8 years old, his grandfather died and he went to Gadarwara to live with his parents. Rajnis was profoundly affected by his grandfather's death and again by the death of his childhood girlfriend and cousin Sasi from typhoid when he was just 15. He was an intelligent but rebellious child. In his school years, he gained a reputation as a formidable debater. He questions the existing religious, cultural and social norms in the society. Rajnis became critical of traditional religion, took an interest in many methods to expand consciousness including breath control, yogic exercise, meditation, fasting, the occult and hypnosis. He was fond of learning. He read all of the books in the library. In 1951, is 19, Rajnis began his studies at Hidkarini College in Jabalapur. Asked to leave after conflicts with an instructor, he transferred to DN Jain College, which was also in Jabalpur. Having proved himself to be destructively argumentative, he was not required to attend college classes at DN Jain College except for examination and used his free time to work for a few months as an assistant editor at a local newspaper. In 1953, when he was 21 years old, after taking a year off from his studies to soul search and meditate, Rajnis claimed that he had achieved enlightenment. He returned to school, however, and after graduating with a bachelor degree in philosophy, he went on to pursue a master's in philosophy at Saga University. Following his graduation in 1957, Rajnis accepted a position as an assistant professor of philosophy at Raipur Sanskrit College but his radical ideas soon put him at odds with the institution administration and he was forced to find work elsewhere, eventually becoming a professor at the University of Jabalpur. Concurrent with his teaching at the University of Jabalpur, Rajnis traveled throughout India, spreading his unconventional and controversial ideas about spirituality. Among his teachings, was the notion that sex was the first step toward achieving superconsciousness. By 1964, he started conducting meditation camps and recruiting followers and in 1966, he resigned from his professorship to focus more fully on spreading his spiritual teachings. He criticized orthodox Indian religious as dead, filled with empty ritual, oppressing their followers with fears of divine punishment and promises of blessing. Such statements made him controversial but also gained him a loyal following that included a number of wealthy merchants and businessmen and paid him donations. According to him, religion is an art that shows how to enjoy life. Rajni's secretary Lakshmi Thakarsi Kuruwa, who was the daughter of one of his followers, a wealthy jinn who was Oso's Rajni's first disciple, was named Ma Yoga Lakshmi by Rajnis. In 1970, Rajnis introduced the practice of dynamic meditation, which he claimed enables people to experience divinity. The prospect enticed young Westerners to come recite at his ashram in Pune, India and become Rajnis' devout disciples called Sanyasins. In their quest for spiritual enlightenment, Rajnis' followers took new Indian names, dressed in orange and red cloths, and participated in group sessions that sometimes involved both violence and sexual activities. By the late 1970s, the six-acre ashram was so overcrowded that Rajnis sought a new site to relocate it. While Rajnis was revered by his followers, he was considered immoral and controversial by the more conservative faction of the society. 
His major talks and preaching include sexuality. He advocated an open, free, and straight attitude towards sex. For this, he was criticized by the Indian press. In the process, he earned himself the nickname, the Sex Guru. He mostly spoke about his original analysis and the views on the writings of religious traditions, mystics, and philosophers from around the world. Due to which, he soon started attracting Westerners, while also had been gaining momentum with the Indian masses, the government, under the rule of former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, was not fond of the Guru, his cult or his ashram. The government of India had opened investigation into multiple allegations of criminal behavior in connection to Oso. These included charges related to Oso sanctioned prostitution, international drug trafficking, gold smuggling, money laundering and tax evasion. As ordered by the government, he had to pay back his taxes, a major blow to his reputation that greatly angered Oso and his followers. During this time, Rajneesh's right hand person and secretary was Sila. Sila instantly became devoted to Rajneesh after meeting him when she was just 16 years old. Sila soon became a favorite of the Guru and Rajneesh began to relay some of his most trusted advice, instruction and responsibilities in Sila's direction. Sila helped convince Rajneesh to come to America and manage the commune while also being the president of the Rajneesh Foundation International. Soon after making this decision, Rajneesh took an oath of silence. It was left to Sila to procure passport for the Guru, herself, as well as some of their most trusted and important disciples. Successfully managing to arrange for these, Sila, Oso, and a few others left India for Oregon, United States in June 1981. Facing ongoing pressure from Indian government authorities and traditional religious groups, in 1981, Rajneesh fled to the United States with 2,000 of his disciples, settling on a 100-square-mile ranch in central Oregon, which he named Rancho Rajneesh. There, Rajneesh and the Sanyasins started building their own city called Rajneeshpuram. Thousands of homeless people were being joined into Rajneeshpuram to live and work in the commune. Followers claimed this was a massive new charity being performed by the group to give homeless people another chance at life. Critics of the group claimed the homeless were being shipped to the area to boost voting for the members of religious group. The leaders of the Rajnish Puram wanted to start getting members elected in the government position to give the group help with certain things but they would need more people to vote for the members in order to get elected. This was the reason homeless people were being moved to the location and registering to vote. The people of Rajnispuram wanted to take over the local government. Around this area, there were people who belonged to conservative Christian families. So when Rajnises began to pour into what they considered their land with their free sex, open marriages and alien concepts, the local began to turn hostile. In the mid-1980s, relations between the commune and the local government community became tense, and it was revealed that the commune members had been engaging in variety of serious crime ranging from wiretapping to voter fraud. Rajneesh's right hand, Sila, was a fearless and ruthless leader in Rajneesh Puram and made many media appearances to throw the neighboring towns and those who hated the Rajneesh people. She was looked by many as someone who shouldn't be crossed, but her crime started catching up with her. Unknown to those in the commune, Sila had established a sacred listening post near the commune's telephone center and all calls into and out of Rajneesh Puram were taped. In 1984, Sila attempted to influence a local election by using hundreds of homeless people and registering them to vote. After the plan failed, she arranged for Rajni scientists to contaminate food at local restaurant to make people sick before the election. Salsa bars, vegetable and salad bars, tabletop creamers and other food at a dozen local restaurants and supermarkets were contaminated with salmonella. Salmonella, 
a kind of bacteria, if contacted with food, can cause one of the worst form of food poisoning. Nobody died, but more than 750 people were sickened due to this accident. Sila was also accused of wiretaping and attempted murder. They had hoped that if enough people were sick during the election, they could throw it to get their leaders in. This was done as a part of a ploy to unfairly win election against the local government by ensuring that a majority of voters wouldn't be able to turn up to vote. The plot didn't work, though because the locals were angry, turned out to vote against the Rosnes people after suspecting it was them who caused the illness. The Rosnes people are responsible for one of the largest recorded marriage fraud cases in the United States. It is said that there were more than 400 false marriages perpetrated by the Rosneses. The immigration fraud was believed to be headed by Sila when they moved to America. The marriages were between US citizens and visiting foreigners. They were created to give the foreigners permanent residence in the United States and bypass American laws. United States authorities were aware of the possible illegal marriages though and the Rosnese people could feel the pressure. After Rosnese Puram fell apart, US police allegedly discovered an armory of over 100 weapons. Tensions had begun to mount between Rosnes and Sila, who up until then was still widely considered the public face of the Rosnes campaign. Following an assassination attempt on Osu's personal physician, Sila and a small group of her followers quickly left Rosnes Puram. This greatly angered Osu and turned him against her. While Sila took refuge in Germany, Osu broke his vow of silence in 1984 and laid the blame for all the charges pointed his way on Sila and a group of fascists. The authorities, meanwhile, were waiting for the perfect moment to capture both Osu and Sila. Following the sensational revelation, several of the commune leaders fled to escape the police. Opportunity struck when, in an abrupt move, Oso and a few of his disciples took off from Rajnispuram. According to a UPI article from 1985, when the plane stopped to refuel at Charlottesville at 2 a.m. on 28 October, Oso and 13 others traveling with him were instantly arrested. Sila and the two others were arrested in West Germany. The religious cult stayed in a legal battle with the U.S. over the immigration fraud, but they eventually lost the fight. Several people were arrested for immigration fraud, admitting that the marriages were a trick to allow followers to settle in Oregon with Rosnes. Pleaded guilty of immigration charge and agreed to leave the United States, Rosnes was ordered to pay a $400,000 fine and was not allowed to re-enter the United States. In 1986, Sila pleaded guilty to attempted murder, wiretaping, immigration fraud, and engineering a salmonella outbreak. She was released from prison early for good behavior. The controversial guru was accused of brainwashing his followers. Also owned 90th Rolls Royce, all of which were donated by his disciples. When people asked him why he didn't donate them to the poor, he said, every religion in the world is taking care of the poor. Why can't they just let me take care of the rich? A man Fond of luxuries, he would famously drive around the area in his favorite car while his devotees would stand on the road in a massive queues waiting to catch a glimpse of the Guru. Over the next several months, he traveled to several countries around the world including Nepal, Ireland, Uruguay and Jamaica but he was not allowed to stay in any of the countries for long. He was denied entry into numerous countries before returning again to India in 1986. During the next few years, he continued to teach and rename himself Oso, but his health began to decline. Oso continued his teaching and died on January 9, 1990 in Pune from a heart attack. Some sources say he was killed by the government of America. His ashram in Pune is today known as Oso International Meditation Resort. 
It is one of the India's main tourist attractions and is visited by about 200,000 people from around the world each year. Osho Rajnes was an Indian mystic guru and spiritual leader who created the spiritual practice of dynamic meditation. A controversial leader, he had millions of followers worldwide. Confident and outspoken, he was a gifted speaker who never shied away from expressing his views on various topics, even those considered to be taboo by the conservative society. As per Oso, there is nothing more valuable or precious in the world than love, meditation and laughter. He though never believed in any one religion but combined elements of many religions such as Buddhism, Hinduism and Christianity. However, he also added new types of meditation practice. His philosophy was a type of that God wasn't everything. He praised that people should basically just do whatever feels good, that attachment to the material object was okay and that sex was an expression of love that should be explored freely. Thank you.